Hi, my name is Kathy Chatteraj, and today we are drawing Luca from the new Disney animated film. So grab a piece of paper and your favorite pencil and join me in the art room. Good afternoon. So today we are drawing Luca. And Luca is um, an animated character from a movie, um, and the new Disney animated feature film um, called Luca, which is set in a beautiful seaside town on the Italian Riviera. Um, it's this coming of age story of a young boy exper experiencing an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter rides so Italian. So Luca shares these adventures with his newfound best friend, but most of all, he's threatened by a deep held secret that it's, he is a sea monster from another world just below the surface um, of the sea, kind of like Little Mermaid. So um, after we draw Luca the boy, which is right here, we are then going to draw um, Luca the sea monster, which is kind of like a mermaid. And then we're going to draw um, Luca kind of coming up um, as a boy, transformation, transforming from a sea monster into a boy. Um, so this is such a fabulous film. Um, I really enjoyed watching it. And since it's so popular, I thought I would use it for today's topic. So how do you find me? I am Future Picasso. So if you want to send me suggestions, please go to info at futurepicassos.com. My website is www.futurepicassos.com where I sell um, products um, that I create. And I also have information on upcoming classes. And then um, you can find me at Future Picassos on Instagram. Now I am not, this is my last live class of the season. I'll keep uploading to YouTube. Um, I just kind of wanted to let that be known. So um, underneath, I have a, a piece of regular um, heavyweight drawing paper right here because I like to erase a lot over on the right. And over on the left, I have my drawing, which I've gridded, I've gridded out. So everybody at home, take your ruler and you can start by gridding out your drawing just into four corners. We do this so we can make this. Um, drawing and we can put it over here and we can make it look a little bit bigger. So I like to do this thing where I take the drawing and I kind of finesse the shapes. I, I lay it all out and then I lay it all out from here so we can draw it over here. It just makes sense. Um, sometimes when we look at patterns, when we look at things, we see lots of noise and we get more fixated on like the pupil of the eye than we do the whole drawing. So I like to take it as a whole. So the first thing we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw this and then we're gonna make it into that. And once you, this is like your blueprint. Once you get this drawn, it's much easier to kind of get everything else drawn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover that up with a blank piece of paper so you can't see it, just like that. And then I am gonna take my Luca blueprint and I'm gonna put it over here so we can see that. And then I'm gonna take this over here like that. Now, this is a really fairly easy drawing um, and it's kind of fun to draw. Now, I like to kind of say like, there's a lot of circles in here. When you're making a circle, I'm not drawing anything that I'm showing you. Use your whole entire arm, right? See, I'm using my whole entire arm to get this circle shape, even though it's kind of slip, slip, scribbly. Um, if I use my whole entire arm, I have much more control over what I'm doing and my circle is much more fluid. If I use my wrist to draw a circle, it's, I don't have control over it because my wrist is not fluid, right? If it's little, it's one thing, but if it's bigger, you wanna go for the whole wrist movement. It makes much more sense. So, so I asked my students to practice that and I just wanted to kind of um, reiterate that. If you wanna practice that, you can go to one of the videos I have early on, which I talk about my warm up. Okay, so I use my fingers to measure, right? 
and I'm going to start right here in the middle. And I am going to grid this out and I'm going to measure. So it's about two fingers, three fingers over. So it's a little less than two fingers. So I'm just going to put a little dot right here and go a little bit in. So I'm going to put one dot there. And then on this other side, it's about four fingers over. One dot here, a little bit more than two fingers down. And let's just say about five fingers up, kind of squished till, till I get this kind of circle. So if I were to draw a square around this shape, this is gonna kind of help me draw my face. Now I'm gonna draw a little heavier so you can see um, what I'm drawing, but I am gonna just find this shape and I'm not gonna worry about other things in the way. So using my whole entire arm, I'm gonna find the shape of this circle for the face of Luca. And I can see that a little racing here. And so when I look over here, even though this angle might be a little different and that's okay. Um, when I look over here at my drawing, I can kind of see the shape of things and where things are kind of headed. So I have my circle in here, which looks very nicely. Now, um, I'm just gonna kind of move down the page and right about right. So the beauty of the video is you can delete, right? And you can kind of, um, you can delete, you can rewind and pause. So after I have drawn my circle in here, the next shape I am going to draw is I'm just gonna move down the body. So I'm gonna start right about right here. And this is about one finger down and I'm gonna start about, I'm gonna make a triangle shape and make a line like this. And this is gonna be this triangle right here. And then about two fingers over I'm gonna put a line that comes down like this. And it's a little less than two fingers up here. So if I drew a line across the, here, it kind of look like that. So then from right here to right here, I'm gonna draw a triangle that comes down like this. Excellent. So the next thing I'm gonna draw is this ice cream shape. And I'm just gonna kind of put it in. I'm gonna measure how long it is. It's about two fingers long. And then this comes over. And it looks like this. So we have that. And then the next thing I'm gonna draw is this hand shape. So then this is gonna kind of come up and around like this. You could make this rounder if you want. It doesn't have to be so not ice cream looking. And then this finger is gonna come over like this. And this is gonna come over like this. And this kind of comes down like this. And then his thumb is gonna kind of fit right in here like this. And then we have his, our ice cream situation happening right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put in the 
end of my collar, which is gonna come over like this. And then this is gonna come down like that. And then I'm just gonna measure how far out I want everything to come. So about four fingers out. So then this comes around like this. And then it comes down like this. That was my pencil sharpener talking. The next thing I'm gonna do. So when I'm drawing, I don't always like to think about, is it exact? As you, as you get more practice, you can kind of play around with things. So then this line is gonna come down like that. I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit so you can see. And then I'm just looking at this shape right here, which looks like this. I'm gonna put a line right here. And it's kind of the cuff of his shirt. Which comes around like that. And so that would be one side of his body. And then over here on this other side, let's measure how wide. It's gonna be about three fingers over. I'm just gonna kind of edit this a little bit. So then from this little, from here on the ice cream down, I'm gonna go like this. And this is gonna be the other side of his shirt. And then I can put a little indentation right there. So that is the bottom side of our, our person. So then moving up right in here, just gonna clean this up a little bit. This is gonna come around like that. So remember, I like to ink my drawings. And when I do that, I clean all of these lines up so they're not so yuck. Okay, so let's just imagine that this is the side of his head. And this is the side of his face, comes around like that. And then his ear is gonna start right about right here and go to right about right here and go like this. And then over here, since his face is kind of like this, his other ear is gonna be over here like this. And again, it's very scribbly, that's okay. So then his his hair, it kind of gets cut off at the top, right? And then from here, it looks like a little ball on the top of his head, but it's just gonna be kind of like a way to put the shape in for his hair, right? So that goes up like that and this comes around like that. And then this is gonna look something like that on the side. Excellent. 
So I draw with a regular school pencil um, just because it's a lot, it's a lot of what regular people have at home. So that's fine. Just to say you don't have to have fancy pencils. And I tend not to press down very hard because I don't want you to make a mess of your drawings. But I do go in and clean things up as I go. So I might say, okay, this looks like it needs to be a little wider. All right, now let's put some facial features on. Um, up here, from right about right here to right here, I have some eyebrows. So there's one eyebrow there that looks like that. And then from right about, let's measure, from right about right here, from right here to right about right here. I'm going to have an eye, which is going to look something like this. And he's going to kind of look like zombie, not like Luca, right? Because we're not putting the eyeballs in yet. So my nose is going to touch down about right here. And if you want to think of it like a triangle, you could do this. And then add his nose shape, kind of like that. And then coming over here. So you want to kind of look at where the eyes go. And I'm just going to kind of put it Put, it, put them on a track and I'm looking at the space. So it's gonna come over to about right there and it's gonna come over to about right here. And it's gonna be a little bit more of an oval than the other eye. This is a little bit more circular. And my eyebrow is going to start right about right here to about right there. Like that. So what I want you to understand and you can pause this and copy it, if that's easier, is that as an artist, we tend to change the lines a little bit. We tend to kind of make things our own as we draw them, right? Now my mouth, I'm gonna put a little mark right here. It's going to be about right here. And it goes kind of at an angle. To right about here. So now if I put my pencil like this and have it come down like that. And then I drew these two little circles in here to help find the shape. But it's pretty simple shape. So then if you look at this, you can say, excellent. Now I have my, my stuff, now I have my shape. Now I'm not saying that this is perfect, but if I put this on here and line everything up, I can notice that, well, I changed a few things, but it's pretty 
accurate on the top part, which is really all I care about. So um, I'm gonna let you leave it at that. And then I'm gonna move this over so we can look at um, what we're drawing, which is great. Um, I like to ink at the end with my liner pen, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna just turn it around and I'm gonna clean up my lines. So if you paused it back there so you could get it to where you wanted it to be. That's great. So this is all about coming in and cleaning up the lines. And just like we did Harry Potter this week, um, we're doing Luca for our final class of the season. New movie. I know it's on Disney Plus. Most most kids have seen it if they have Disney Plus. If you don't have Disney Plus, I can't recommend where you can watch it. Um, but I am going to erase my guidelines as I kind of go down the page. I'm going to put a fingernail nail right in here. And then I'm going to put this in like this. And then this in like this. And that thumb in like that. And then over here, I'm going to put this line in. Now he has a plaid shirt on, and the plaid shirt looks like this. There's a line down the middle and there's a just a little egg, like little exaggeration that it's a plaid shirt. And then this also, there's a plaid shirt. So then there's a I'm just going to make some plaid like so. I don't know why there's not. I don't know why there's not more plaid, but we can put this plaid in over here. Plaid, plaid. And now we have our shirt done. So, I mean, when you look at it, we're, we're pretty good on the face. So I'm just gonna erase these guidelines here. It's a pretty simple drawing. He's a little, he's a cool character. And I'm gonna just fatten up his nose a little bit. like this, and then his eyes, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna draw another circle in here like this, and then I'm gonna draw the middle of his eye like this. And then he has a little thing over here like that. And so then this eye over here looks like this. And then there's a pupil in here that is right here.
Sometimes it's easier to move the paper. And then there's a circle right in here like this, little highlight. Excellent. So then we have our ear over here, a little shorter. We have the ear right here. And then this kind of comes down like this. And then our hair is actually a little straighter. So this line is a little straighter and this comes up like this. He has really cool hair. I'm just gonna kind of finesse. I'm gonna kind of finesse this line. So let's talk about the hair. We have everything. It looks really good. Um, how do we want the hair to look? He's got these great eyebrows. Um, now I like the pattern of the hair. So right in here, I'm gonna start by racing that. I, once we have the shape, I'm just going to kind of go, I'm just going to kind of start creating what I call hair shape. So this goes around like this. And then this kind of comes up and around like that. And when, when we ink it, we can make it really cleaned up. So he has like a big kind of curl right there. And then over here, this comes around like this. And that comes around like that. So it looks like he has kind of this very cool, never ending. He has this giant curl right there. And then over here, this comes around and it goes over. And it doesn't have to be exactly what I have, right? You can kind of make it however you wanna make it. But he does have beautiful curly hair. Like that, and then over in here, I mean, how do you draw curly hair, right? Over in here, I'm just gonna kind of emphasize different degrees of the curl. I like that. 
So let's ink it. I think it looks fantastic. Um, super fun to draw, right? Um, let's see. So um, I'm going to put this away because we don't know, we don't need this anymore. And here we have our Luca drawing right here. And I like to use these um, Faber Castell inking pens. I have a brush one that I really like to use because it just gives my drawing a little bit more depth. This is a good one. Um, what I want to emphasize though is that you don't have to ink, but I like to ink and then erase the guidelines that I'm not using to kind of clean up my drawing. And then it makes it easier to color in. Um, you don't have to erase any lines after you ink. It just depends on what you want to do. But I'm going to start right in here with the nose. And then I'm going to start right in here with the lips. It's got kind of a funny mouth. And the eyes. So really um, take your time when doing this and feel free to turn your paper because again, I'm, I'm not using my, I'm using my wrist to, to outline and it's almost like I have less control. And then you can color it in with colored pencils or crayons. I'm a crayon kind of gal. Or markers, whatever you think. And then, like I said, the hair, you could have a good time with it. Remember, he's got curly hair. He's a cute Italian boy. Or a cute mermaid boy. So see how I am not afraid to move my paper in the direction that I'm going. And sometimes after you ink, you don't even really need to um, go in and change anything. I don't really need to go, you can't really see the lines on here as much as I can, but they kind of just disappear. And then we have our ice cream or gelato. I'm kind of an ice cream person. fingers, and then shirt. That's a fun drawing, fun way to spend the afternoon, watch the movie, do some drawing, color the picture, have some ice cream. Um, so there you have it. There is our Luca drawing. Very sweet. Well, stay tuned. We are going to draw the others. We're going to draw 
Luca as a sea monster, and Luca as a half boy, half sea monster. If you liked today's class, um, please leave a comment. Um, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Please, if you want, you can send me your drawings to info at futurepicassos.com. I will put you in my upcoming student art gallery. Follow me on Instagram. And um, please follow me on uh, YouTube. I will see you soon. Have a great day.